What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from the Scale It Learning channel. And today we are back at it with our Khan Academy series. And we're on to nonlinear functions, foundations level. Again, there's three levels, right? We're on the first. And we are going to solve four practice problems for the first time in real time. And I'm going to teach and explain as we go through the problems. I, that's the best way to learn, in my opinion. Without further ado, let's do it. Function h is defined. What is the value of h of 9? So this is nice function notation. This does not mean h times 9. This means h of 9 when this is the function, a.k.a. plug in 9 for x. And you can tell that because they've got h of x. Now they've got h of 9. So you're replacing the x with 9. So square root of 4 times 9, which is 36, that gives you a value of 6, right? 6 times 6 is 36. 6 is the winner. Done. All right, next, number 2. We got h of x equals this. What is the value of h of 3? Again, that means we're plugging and chugging, plugging 3 in for x. So I got 1 over 3 squared, which is 9 minus 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. 1 over 8 for the win. That's how you do it. Done. Moving on, number 3. Here we go. f of x equals 1.5 to the x plus 1. What is the value of f of 2? Same dealio, right? Plugging and chugging 2. Now, this one you might want a calculator because it's 1.5 squared. Um, I'm going to just do it mentally just for fun because I know that 15 squared is 225. 1.5 squared is 2.25. Oops. And then plus 1 would give us 3.25. Let's see if that is correct. Hopefully I didn't make a miscalculation. But again, for the SAT, everything is calculator allowed, so make sure to take advantage of that. Boom. And finally, question four, same dealio. Function notation, f of negative 3, plug and chug. Here we go. So that is, watch how I'm writing it out. Negative 3 cubed. I'm just replacing every instance of x with negative 3 in parentheses, plus 7. Negative 3 cubed is negative 27. By the way, writing it out like this ensures that you're not going to make any silly mistakes, stuff like that. Um, so we got negative 27, then we got 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6, plus 7. Negative 27 minus 6 is negative 33, plus 7 is negative 26. And there's the win, A, that's how you do it, done. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to do tons of these leading up to this March SAT, so make sure to tune in. If you did like the video, make sure to click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.